This video is brought to you by Virchi, a science and technology company offering research and development and consulting. It can be observed that planet Uranus, in its usual inclined orbit around the Sun, always points to a fixed direction and location because it is locked in gravitationally through a second axis onto a neighboring planetary body. By the same mechanism that keeps the Moon and Earth locked onto each other through the two-way grip as explained in the first video of this series. That is why planet Uranus faces a fixed direction during its orbit around the Sun. If the fixed direction points onto a planet, then the fixed direction would also follow the path of the planet or celestial body throughout its orbit. Uranus's first axis operates in the same way as Venus, which has its north-south pole axis locked onto the Sun's polarities, as do all the planets orbiting the Sun. But unlike Venus, which has its second axis perpendicular to the first axis and locked gravitationally onto a neighboring planetary body, planet Uranus's second axis grip is not perpendicular to the first axis, but it is in parallel to its first axis with a wobble in its inner core rotation and it is gravitationally locked through its north-south pole onto a neighboring celestial body, with the second axis grip being very strong and bending Uranus on its side. This unusual lineup of Uranus's two axes forces Uranus to bend into an inclined orbit around the Sun because of the force of the second axis gravitational cord going through its pole in a straight line in direction of a neighboring planet or celestial body. To determine the neighboring celestial body to which Uranus is gravitationally locked onto, further investigation needs to be done to observe and determine what planet Uranus points to throughout its orbit around the Sun. Inner Core Composition of Planet Uranus Because Uranus's magnetosphere has an unusual wobble, a possibility of two inner solid core structures is hypothesized. Uranus could have two inner solid torus cores, one inside the other, in an onion configuration. One of the inner solid core axes could be locked onto the Sun, while the second inner solid core axis could be locked onto a neighboring planetary body, both in parallel and gravitationally locked through the poles. Or, just like Earth, Uranus could have one inner solid core and a crust or mantle, and is locked on a neighboring planetary body through its poles via the inner core and mantle or crust. However, the gravitational lock onto the neighboring planet through the pole is strong enough to bend and force planet Uranus on an inclined position. Through NASA observation, we can see that Uranus's magnetosphere has an unusual wobble because it is possibly locked onto the Sun through an inner core. There are many possibilities, but due to its inclined orbit, it can be deduced that one axis is locked onto the Sun, while the other axis is locked onto a neighboring celestial body. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. It has the third largest planetary radius and fourth largest planetary mass in the solar system. Uranus is similar in composition to Neptune, and both have bulk chemical compositions which differ from that of the larger gas giants Jupiter and Saturn. For this reason, scientists often classify Uranus and Neptune as ice giants to distinguish them from the gas giants. The scientific community hypothesizes that Uranus's atmosphere is similar to Jupiter's and Saturn's in its primary composition of hydrogen and helium, but it contains ices such as water, ammonia, and methane, along with traces of other hydrocarbons. Though the inner composition of Uranus could be very different from what is commonly hypothesized. It is the coldest planetary atmosphere in the solar system, with a minimum temperature of 49 K, or minus 224 degrees Celsius, or minus 371 degrees Fahrenheit and has a complex layered cloud structure with water thought to make up the lowest clouds and methane the uppermost layer of clouds. The interior of Uranus is mainly composed of ices and rock. Like the other giant planets, Uranus has a ring system, a magnetosphere, 
and numerous moons. The Iranian system has a unique configuration because its axis of rotation is tilted sideways, nearly into the plane of its solar orbit. Its north and south poles therefore lie where most other planets have their equators. In 1986, images from Voyager 2 showed Uranus as an almost featureless planet in visible light, without the cloud bands or storms associated with the other giant planets. Observations from Earth have shown seasonal change and increased weather activity as Uranus approached its equinox in 2007. Wind speeds can reach up to 250 meters per second or 900 kilometers per hour or 560 miles per hour. Uranus is the only planet whose name is derived directly from a figure from Greek mythology, from the Latinized version of the Greek god of the sky, Uranus. This video is pulled from a chapter from Caridine's Rosetta Stone of Astronomy, the first book of a series of books, all of which are available on Amazon, Apple eBooks, and Barnes & Noble.